Welcome back to a new video about an AC motor example. This is our example number one about a synchronous motor. So we have the following problem. We have a 2 kV RMS 60 Hz 3 phase star connected synchronous motor and has a per phase stator resistance of 2 ohms and also a stator reactance of 4 ohms. The motor requires a stator current or a line current of 100 amps with a leading power factor of 0.64. Okay, now given this information we would like to calculate the generated back EMF per phase and also the torque angle. Okay, let's look at our solutions. Now before we move on, as we did also in the induction motor examples, we also look at the model. Now this is the model we can use for a synchronous motor. Also there is a part which will then also has that excitation for the field, but that part is left out. This is actually the part we really need for our calculations. This is the phase voltage, and this is also our, the current that will be, of course, through the stator. And this is the stator resistance, the stator reactance, and also the back EMF shown here with its own torque angle. So this is the delta. Okay, let's then use the Kirchhoff voltage law here again and then set up the equation. We can again say this is what we apply will be then equal to this voltage across RS and also across this reactance. Also you can take them together plus the back EF which is actually shown here also in the factor notation. Now of course we want to have the back EMF which is of course that ER and that can be then re rewritten in this form. Now for a Y connected motor which is then this case the phase voltage, which is then of course the Vs, will be then, in this case, also line voltage over square root of 3. Now we have 2000 volts RMS, so this will be then 2000 volts RMS over square root of 3 will be 1155 volts, of course, all in RMS. So we can also convert that in a polar form, so as uh, this representation that we, we will use later on in our calculations. So we have this for our phase voltage. Now we also of course require the current that is already given and we also require the values here that is also given. So that's actually why we have calculated this. Now moving on to the state of current that is actually given by this expression. Again, the magnitude and also the associated phase which is then the theta. Now what is actually theta? That's actually what we re require, but we know already magnitude that is 100 amps. So in order to calculate the theta, we need the power factor. The power factor is given by this expression for a pure uh, one from frequency operation, of course. So the power factor is equal to the cosine of that theta, of that angle of that stator current or the line current. So we know that 0.64 is already leading and that the cosine of theta, so we can just rewrite this, then we have this 50 degrees and it's leading. Okay, leading means that this is a positive number. If this was lagging, then we have the minus 50 degrees. That is important. Now taking this together, we can now have an expression for our stator current in this polar form. So 100 in phase of plus 50 degrees in amps. Okay, then we have the following situation. We just use this expression and just substitute what we have calculated or expressed for our phase voltage and also the current. And we have the state resistance and also stator reactance. Just substitute the values in here. We just convert this part, which is then the the resistor and the reactance in, in in one combination as actually what we did for the current also for the phase voltage and then we have the following and if i now want to calculate now this that's actually the multiplication of the magnitudes and adding the phases and you will get this so we will get 100 times 4.5 and then 450 and you will have 50 plus 64 63 so you will have done 113. Now in order to calculate this, because this is now in a subtraction, we need to convert this and this to the rectangular form. So we do that by using this expression. So you will get cosine of this angle plus a j sine of this angle. You do the similar form for the other one and you will have then this results. So you can see what the results for each sine and cosine form. Now add them up and you will have then this expression. This is now the rectangular form for our back EMF. Now converting this to the polar expression using this formula. Again, the square root of 
the real part plus the imaginary part and also for the face you use the imaginary part divided by the real part and you will have this and if you now do the math correctly you will get 1394 as the amp amplitude and also minus 70 degrees for our face here so we already know that the back emf generated per face is 1394 volts now moving on to the next question which is on a torque angle we can now express this torque exp the the back emf expression in this form it's already shown here so we can now use this and then say the torque angle delta is now minus 70 degrees so minus 70 degrees that's actually what is shown here and this is now the torque angle and it is lagging because it is a minus sign so what we also know as a comment here the minus sign in a torque angle indicates that the machine is a motor mode because you can have a, a synchronous machine that can be used as a generator or as a motor so if you have a torque angle which is positive then your synchronous machine is actually a generator okay now looking also to the problem in the diagram form this is our voltage vs which is the phase voltage and it has of course a phase orientation of zero degrees and it has a value of amplitude of 1155 so that's actually what we have here we also know that our current has a 50 degrees phase this is the theta and it has a value of 100 amps now we also know our delta which is minus 70 degrees so minus 17 and we have also have the back emf which is this value 1394 volts now this is of course smaller than the other one and we have of course that part which is then what we lose across this element so we have also the 450 volts because this is 450 volts and that's actually due to that impedance here the series combination of rs and xs so we have now all of them together and also the torque angle and also the the generated back emf here which is then the magnitude given here so that's actually the solution for these two questions all right that was our example number one about a synchronous motor example we continue of course with different example about different problems so keep in touch and if you have any questions please let me know and i will try to answer them as soon as possible see you next time and take care